Hello everyone, this is Sumita Gupta. Welcome you all for my experiment of linear integrated circuit. Today we will see how OPAM behave as an adder using virtual lab. Okay, so just this is the, I have already done this in virtual lab, but I demonstrate in front of you. Just what you have to do in Google, just uh, you can type integrated circuit using virtual lab. Okay, the first one, or you can uh, type vlab.iitb.ac.in. In vlab, there is some labs under development and uh, you can go there, okay? Otherwise, just press integrated circuit using virtual lab and here you will get a link. In that, in, uh, under electronics and communication, there is integrated circuit analysis. Click on list of experiment. In list of experiment, there are various experiments. Today, we will do add, okay? Uh, this is the A theory adder means you can uh, take either three inputs two input four inputs whatever and you can do now pre-test it's uh, your time uh, you can check your knowledge by applying this quiz then procedure is mentioned here so i'll directly do in the simulation then you can understand the procedure here task one task two task three three tasks are given for you First is you have to design summing amplifier uh, for to obtain this expression. Output should be 0.1 V1 plus V2 plus 10 V3, where V1, V2, V3 are the inputs and verify the results if uh, V1, V2, V3 all are one mode. Okay, means first of all, you should understand the theory. How, what is the role of adder? How to design the circuit? Then you can, you can do yours. Task two, you have to, uh, Take these values. RA should be half for feedback resistance. If feedback is 10, then RA should be 5. RB should be 1 fourth. RC should be 1 eighth. Then verify the result using simulator. Task of the three input inverting stage averaging uh, circuit, verify using simulator the result for if input is 1.5, 2.5, and 3.5. What I will do, I will explain you the general circuit. Then all these th tasks, it's your duty to complete all these three tasks. Okay. So, first of all, uh, select the OPAM. I'm taking this OPAM and I want to uh, take three, uh, I want to make an adder of with th uh, three inputs. Okay. So I will have to take three resistors and the values I'm taking 10 ohms, of course. Okay. Uh, next, second resistance. Again, I am taking 10 ohms. I'm taking same values. Okay. For simplicity now, after that, you can change the values. Again, I'm taking 10 ohm, okay? For three resistance, three input, VA, uh, suppose 1.5 volt, as in the first uh, 100 hertz, okay? You can take anything. Now, VV, I'm taking, uh, in the uh, task three, it is mentioned 2.5. You can take 2.5. Uh, again, taking 100 hertz. Now, we see um, it's uh, there is a problem in driving from my side. Again, I'm just taking this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was like, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm taking different value 3.5 board, and it is mentioned in the this task three also three input averaging circuits and v1 1.5 v2 2.5 v3 3.5 and i have taken r1 r2 r3 10 10 minutes. now one feedback resistance okay uh, i'm taking 100 ohms values you can change ground load resistance okay uh, now components part is over now connect all this circuit. For V1 input, just click on first node and move this and click on second node. Automatic wire will be connected. From second input, click on this and click on this. From third input to this, automatic wire will be connected. Now what we have to do, we have to connect all these three. If you uh, miss the click, and it will say short circuit not allowed because it is taking click on the same node. 
click on this node and just move it and click it. Click on this node. It's inverting adder, so non-inverting terminal will be grounded. Okay. Well, we need to this in feedback resistance. Okay. Now this feedback resistance to this load resistance to this. And these all are connected to ground. See, if click will be missed, then it will say short circuit. Cannot short circuit the pull, but still, it is not taking that click. It's okay. It will do again and again, then it will make, I mean, it will make a uh, practice. So, after practice, you can uh, do easily. What you do, just um, I want to check the waveform. So I have to take one CR also to, to see the waveform. Okay. Now on this. If after switch on this, if we all the uh, connections are uh, displaying as a green, it means your connections are right. If it is showing it's a green, then your means. Your connection is right. Now, check whether waveform you are getting or not. See, there are three inputs, VA, this is VA waveform, VB, second input, and BC, third input. Okay, And this black one shows your output. And output should be addition of input multiplied by RF by R1. Okay, I cannot... Uh, move face. What I can do just on this. Oh no, I cannot uh, uh, move this once it is done. So what you can understand if input uh, inputs are positive, then you are getting negative output because it's inverting at. If inputs are negative, you are getting the positive output. The value of output will be addition. Addition will be 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. It will be. Uh, 1.5, 2.5, 5, uh, 4 plus 7.5. Okay, multiply by RF by R. Okay, so this in this way we have done the circuit of uh, OPEM as a adder. Now, what you uh, your task? I have given three different inputs. You have to take all the inputs equals. Okay, then you have to check the output. Then what you have to do, whatever the value of resistance you are taking, but there is, uh, if RF is supposed 10, then take RF 5, take RB 10 by 4, 2.5, and take RC 10 by 8, 0. 0.2, and then check what you are getting. Okay. So in this way, I have uh, explained you just the basic, how to connect the circuit and how to check the waveform. How to make the connection, how to check the waveform. Now it's your turn. Uh, do multiple experiment here, just change the different component value and check what is the effect on your output. So in this way, we have learned this. So keep learning, keep sharing. If uh, there is any difficulty, then please feel free to uh, write in chat box. So keep learning, keep sharing.